How do I identify solutions to a linear equation? Here we have a problem that says for each value of u, determine whether it is a solution to this equation. And the equation says negative 81 is equal to 9 times the quantity u minus 5. So there's two values here we're going to check. Which one is a solution? So I write out my equation. And the first thing I'm going to do is substitute. In place of u, I'm going to switch it out with the 6. So here's what I mean. I do negative 81 equals 9 times. Now, instead of writing my u, I'm going to switch it out with the 6. Because I want to check, is that a solution? So I'll put 6 in place of u and copy everything else the same exact way. So if you compare the first equation with the second one, you can see that the only thing that changed is the value of u. And I knew this was 6 because that's the number they told me to check. So now I'm going to follow the order of operations to simplify this side. On the left side, I can see that it's only one term, the negative 81. So there's nothing I could do on this side. But on this side, I have some work to do. So this says right here 9 times. And then in the quantity, inside here in parentheses, is 6 minus 5. So I'm going to do that first according to the order of operations. And I will get 9 times 6 minus 5 is 1. And then in my next step, I just have to do simplification one more time. 9 times 1 is 9. And if I look at these two numbers, right now this equation says negative 81 is equal to 9. Well, I know those two numbers are not equal to each other. They're different. So that tells me that is a false statement. If I have a false statement, I know that the answer to this question would be no. 6 is not a solution because we get two different numbers on each side. I want to get the same number. That's my goal to figure out if I have a solution. So now let's check the other number. So rewrite the equation. And I'm going to replace my u as I did before. But this time I'm using negative 4 because I want to check is negative 4 a solution. So negative 81 equals 9 times the quantity. And in place of u, I'm putting negative 4 minus 5. And whenever I say um, the quantity, that just means whatever I say after that is going to be in parentheses. So the quantity u minus 5 means that's in parentheses. So here I have 9 times this quantity, those two things. So I'm going to do negative 81 equals 9 times, and then simplify it in the parentheses, I get negative 9. So I get now negative 81 is equal to 9 times negative 9 is negative 81. And by looking at both sides, I have the same number on each side. So negative 81 is equal to negative 81 is a true statement. Since this is true, I know that negative 4 is a solution. So I will say yes, negative 4 is a solution. And this applies to any equation you're working with in algebra. So if you want to check if it's a solution, you just have to substitute it, simplify everything. And if you get the same number on both sides like we did here, we know it's a solution. If you get different numbers on each side, that's a false statement and we know it's not a solution. If you liked the video, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.